Hey, what's up YouTube? This is 24K signing in. I want to talk about the state of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. Now, we all know by now, or most of us, that Dan O'Brien is going to have to step down. He's going to be missing some time. But we don't know the exact details. We don't know how long he's going to be out. We don't know the severity of his injury. We don't know if it's just storyline. We don't know if it's a combination of storyline and him actually really being hurt and they're just playing it up to make it look a lot more severe than it really is. So there's a lot of questions right now. We don't know who's going to get the belt next. We don't know when exactly or how. Although I can predict when, it's most likely going to be during payback. But we don't know exactly how and what type of match and who. So there's a lot of questions left unanswered. Now, I think that Dan O'Brien is going to be out for a substantial, substantial amount of time. Now, what that means is I think he's going to be out for at least a few months, maybe more. He's going to be back. I think it's a little bit of both. I think he was actually really hurt, but I think they're playing it up to be a lot more severe than it really is. He's hurt slash getting time off and rest. Plus, think about this. He just got married. Yes, he took a week off or at least a few days off. Uh, I know he missed one Raw um, after he got married, but I think that he and Brie Bella, I, I could be mistaken, but I'll have to check to see if Brie Bella isn't involved the next couple of weeks, then it is possible that Dan O'Brien and Brie Bella are going on a honeymoon somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm being far-fetched. Maybe I'm being out there. But it is possible. You never know. So I think it's a combination of both. I think he's injured slightly, but also I think... They're playing it up to be a lot more severe than it really is. So, what does this mean? Well, obviously, of course, someone's going to have to get the new title belt. World Heavyweight Championship belt. Now, I think it's going to be at payback. I think that's a given. Most likely. And I think that they're going to have a battle royale for it. Or a Royal Rumble type of event. Because the WWE seems to be, be liking these types of matches lately. Think about it. They had Andre the Giant Battle Royal, first ever. Then recently, they had Sheamus win the belt. I forgot what belt it was specifically. Um, I think it was the U.S. belt. Yeah, against Dean Ambrose um, about a week ago on Raw. And that was a Battle Royal. And this would be a way for the WWE to get a lot of wrestlers involved in one match because the last event at Extreme Rules obviously of course they're not going to put every single wrestler on the card there will be way too many matches they can't they have too big of a roster to have every wrestler involved I understand that generally speaking unless if it's unless if they have a Royal Rumble or a Battle Royal type of match then they can get everyone or most mostly everyone involved now so I think they're going to have a battle royal type of event, I could be wrong, at Payback. Now, the most logical wrestler, in my opinion, to give the belt to is Roman Reigns. Now, if they give the belt to Roman Reigns, then I could see the Shield staying together still, at least in the short term, but I could see them breaking apart the Shield shortly after that, possibly in a couple months, if not sooner, if Roman Reigns gets the belt. I think they could keep the shield together for a little while if he has the belt. But I think they're going to want to eventually break up the shield and have Roman Reigns go solo if they actually gave him the title belt. Now, they could give it back to Orton, but I don't think that's likely. And most of the fans would be fed up with that and sick of that. But if they did give it back to Orton, then we could possibly 
at a future pay-per-view event see Orton against Cena again, and the fans are sick of, most of the fans are sick of the Orton versus Cena matches, so I don't think that's very likely, but it is possible. They could possibly give it to Batista, but the problem is, Batista's not going to be here long term. I'm not sure when his contract's up, but it wouldn't make much sense to give a title to a guy who's only going to be here for like maybe a few months, maybe a little bit more than that, but not much more. So I could see them possibly having Roman Reigns get the belt. I think that would be awesome. Um, they're really putting over the shield. They're the biggest baby faces right now, aside from Daniel Bryan. And I guess John Cena, he's always a baby face. But um, the, they're getting great responses from the crowd. And out of the three Shield members, recently they've been making Roman Reigns look to be the strongest. He gets the pins. They never let Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose get the pin. I get a little annoyed at that, that they never give Ambrose or Rollins a chance to pin someone. Maybe every once in a great while, but it's rare. They always have the spear, the spear, and you know the crowd is getting really behind Reigns. He has to look down. He, he's a good wrestler. I don't know if he's great, but I think he's pretty good. Um, definitely has to look down and the persona for it. And out of the three, like I said, they're making Reigns look to be the strongest because he he's always getting the pins, and he's always getting those spots where the crowd goes crazy for him, even if it's not a pin. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you think is going to get the belt. Let me know how. Let me know when. Most likely, like I said, most likely will be at Payback. And let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, AlexCode14. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks.